Yoski, I have a three in one for you because uh, at least the projects uh, here are physically small, but uh, they all, like the all three of them, uh, share uh, the same aspect, which I think is pretty awesome. Is uh, the outcome is so good that I don't even notice them. You know, they kind of fade into the background. Uh, you know, just like doorknobs. I mean, <laughs> just try to imagine your life without doorknobs. I mean, it's going to be awful, but yet again, you never like think about them consciously. So the same thing actually happened with these three. So yeah, let's start with the first one, uh, which is this custom holder for exactly those two notepads. And uh, if you're asking yourself uh, why, well, the answer is simple. If you, if you live in a shoebox, horizontal space is at the premium and, you know, these won't really stand on their own. So, uh, yeah, that, I think this is another thing that I was like contemplating for a number of months and then just went and uh, done it. And as is usual for me, all done from offcuts, <laughs> no new material used. And yeah, it's a very specific, tight fitting, but, uh, you know, you still have space like if you want to have like a pencil or a pen. And yeah, you know, like it's not just saving the horizontal space, it's just the fact that you can just like grab it and this stuff is like really positive it's all uh, pvc well two sides of pvc and acrylic again all from off cuts four millimeters for like the structural stuff two millimeters thick for just the separating walls and uh, it's uh, patently obvious that this is from off cuts because instead of this just being one piece it's two pieces it's actually three pieces from the same like like awkward love cut off cut so I mean, even if they are off, like awkward in shape, you should keep them, especially if you're doing like a shoebox stuff like I do. And yeah, there was one thing that I haven't thought about quickly enough, like after the fact, I should have filed this edge here a lot more, because right now putting this in is not as easy as it should be, but again, as you can see, I mean, it's not like you need to spend a lot of time, you just have to think about it, which you shouldn't. Still, pretty nice thing. And uh, yeah, CA glue, I've been doing... I'm actually amazed how much stuff you can do like with uh, thick CA glue and an activator. So, you know, those kind of like seams, if it will focus. It's just like pu pouring it in a... I don't know what... I would say you just need to like figure it out on your own. I don't think there are like guides how to do that. It's easy and then just activate that. So yeah, I mean what I'm using for CA glue is this stuff. Uh, I think it's like it's definitely a Polish company. I don't know if they make it in Poland. In any case CA glue is CA glue and I think an important digression here. I'm just like showing this stuff here because I brought it back. I mean I'm making a video, right? A video. You should be able to see stuff. Again, I'm not sponsored, I'm not looking for sponsors or anything like that. And I'm not even saying that any of this stuff is best or whatever. It's like what I use and it works for me. So at least that. So yeah, lots of CA glue and some plastics and a nice thing. Now the second thing, a smaller one, you know, like get rid of the radio. This thing, it's a stand. So while these radios, I mean again, the super cheap ones, they kind of, well, they do stay on their own, but you know, you don't need to do much to make them not stand anymore. And with this thing, you just plop it in and, you know, it's a, a lot more stable while, again, minimizing the amount of space it takes, like horizontally. So, you know, this is, no, no, not acceptable. This is perfectly fine. And as for this, I think it's like a modeling mass thing that you then bake in the oven. And again, you like brought it because I have it. Stadler, I think that will be German. Fimo professional. Well, I guess that makes me a professional then. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, it's um, it's actually nice material. It's uh, easy to model, and then once you baked it, it's actually still quite uh, flexible. I mean, I don't know if you will be able to see that. Yeah, you see, it's like it's not gonna crumble. It still has some flexibility, which may be a good or a bad thing for your use case. I just remember the ones that like the sort of uh, modeling mask that my dad used to use. 
you know, like a Soviet made one that you were supposed to boil in hot water. That stuff was like very hard and very brittle. So I think this is actually like the future is better. So yeah, this thing. And the last but not least, and this has actually a funny story because this is an accidental project. I like went with it simply because like I got myself like a small hot glue gun. And you know, these are like uh, tank depressors, uh, popsicle sticks, super cheap stuff. And I was just basically mucking around with stuff and I was like, well, let's make platonic solids and uh, got a cube. And then was thinking that I've like always had problems with containment for things like pens and you know, like this uh, longer than wider stuff. I mean, they usually come like round, which I found really annoying because they, you know, you cannot push them, like you cannot, you know, make nice stacks. Again, it's a space thing. You, you get the theme. It's all about space. And they either too big or too small, or they have, I don't know, many compartments, stuff that I don't like. And this kind of happened gradually. So, and it was again like trying to learn how to make stuff with a hot glue gun. And yes, I have it here. This one, this thing, it's like a mini one, which I guess you should not buy if this is going to be your first and only hot glue gun, because this is kind of, so it has built-in battery, it doesn't last very, very long. But it's kind of nifty because it's, you know, it's just smaller and easier to get into places. I have like, I think now four hot glue guns and the proper ones are not these. But yeah, I mean, let it be here. In any case, it's just those wooden sticks, hot glued like there's no tomorrow. The another thing that I was testing was, uh, I think it's called varnish in English. You know, the sort of, or, or it's called stain, I think. So yeah, just trying to stain them to get a different color. And it works, it's a different color, it's, it's darker, so, you know. And then this sort of uh, floor and sides, just, you know, for the pens and stuff not to fall out. That's some weird kind of tape, I think it's like a gardening tape of whatever particular flavor and, you know, <laughs> seasoning it is. No idea what the name is, but as you can see, it's like a, or if I am able to show you, it's like a little fence and it works really great. This stuff is light, but on the other hand, it doesn't really, you know, like fall over itself too easily. So yeah, I mean, you know, and this stuff lives on my, on my main bench here. So I like basically have it every day, all day. And I've just basically stopped realizing that these are things that I've made. They just like, they're so useful. So much part of the, you know, like making my life easier that I don't even think about them. Which again, as we started, I think that's the, that's a nice indication that you've done something that's really, really useful. So yeah, and thanks for watching. And as usual, uh, do your own stuff and share it back. And I mean, like in terms of tools, I mean, like all those things, you know, like uh, hot glue guns, CA glue guns, well, CA glue, like hopefully, hopefully they don't make guns for CA glue. I've learned that just by look, watching what other people do. And it's not about being, you know, like shilling for something. It's just, hey, this happens to work for me. Have you heard about it? This kind of stuff. Because remember, nowadays, if you don't know the keyword and the thing doesn't exist, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really like that. I, I mean, you know, like uh, with a riveting machine, pop rivet. I mean, once you grok the notion of pop rivet, suddenly a whole world opens before you. And before that, you just, you've seen rivets, but how are they made? You know, can you do it at home? Well, apparently you can, it's not even expensive and it's etc. etc. So yeah, share back and modify stuff. Bye.